Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I want to touch on a few observations I've had for the CCI shot shells, mainly the 9mm version because that's what I carry for personal defense. Now you may be asking, what are you carrying shot shells for personal defense? I'm carrying shot shells in my 9mm mainly against snakes. Now when we go hunting, you carry a, a handgun and it's mainly for snakes. You're more likely to run into a snake than you are an illegal alien crossing across the border down in the South Texas area where we hunt. So everybody that hunts down there carries a handgun of some caliber and they pretty much use shot shells all the way around. They, they do carry a mag or two with, with uh, live or regular solid ammo, but mainly you're gonna run into a snake potentially. So when shooting stuff like this, you need to make sure that it actually cycles your gun. Revolvers have no real problem with this, but the auto loaders, you can run into an issue. So if you decide you're gonna try some of this specialty ammo, you need to run some through your gun before you rely on it when, that, when you need it. So uh, case in point, I tried this particular box of ammo through a Canik TP9, a Taurus PT111, 111, and a uh, Smith & Wesson shield. It cycled the Taurus and it cycled the shield perfectly. It did not cycle my PT, or my, T, I'm sorry, my cannon. So you're guaranteed to at least get one shot off, but it's not gonna work after that. The problem is, if it doesn't cycle, since these are a plastic case with the little BBs in there, you're gonna run the risk of breaking this and then spilling BBs inside the gun. And that's kind of what happened with the Canik. When it cycled, it broke the tip off. And so I got BBs all over the place and a, a broken, you know, the little casing is broken. So test your, your ammo before you decide to rely on it. So the patterns you can expect from this are pretty limited. So, you know, you, you want to know how far your, your range is. So I shot these at about 10 yards and you'll see the pattern here on the plate. It's not that great as far as hitting a snake goes you're gonna get some some hardcore separation of the BBs. So being closer is optimum. So I shot the water a little bit closer to see what the pattern was, and I got about 12 to 16 inches. However, that's a little too close to be to a snake as far as I'm concerned, especially poisonous ones. And in this video here, you can actually see one of my hunting partners shot a snake from a quite a bit okay. further back than Dude, when I shot in the water and the pattern the was way up. over the body of the snake and he did hit it in the head but he hit a lot of the body as well because he was so far away so the range on these are very very short but you need to know your your pattern on that just like you would need to know your shotgun when you're hunting now from what I can tell CCI does have some number four shot coming out it may be out by now uh, when I looked on the Midway site, it was not available right now, but it's about the same price. I've found some of this, these shells, uh, these particular shells in the stores in Cabela's, but typical to Cabela's, the big stores, they're a lot more expensive, a few more dollars more anyway than buying online. Unfortunately, the 9mm seemed to be a little bit more specialty. You can buy the revolver stuff all day long, it seems like, in the big box stores. But the 9mm stuff, it's you can't walk into your Walmart and buy it usually. You have to get it online unless you're getting lucky hitting the stores. But anyways, in short, test your ammo and the gun you're going to use it in. Make sure it works, whether it's specialty ammo like this or your defensive ammo like this. I know it can get kind of expensive. These are about 20 bucks a box. But you need to know if it's going to work before you need to use it. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.